And when Isa, son of Maryam, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of Allah unto you, confirming Torah before me, and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me. Here, listen. Isa said, the Torah conveyed the glad tidings of my coming, and my con coming confirms the truth of the Torah. Yikes. It's true, not parts of it. I convey the glad tidings of the prophet who come after me. So can we stop the tap dance? Ibn Kathir says that Jesus coming confirms the truth of the Torah. Mm. It is true. So if you reject this, that means you reject Muhammad. Why are you a Muslim? Because the Quran is ignorant of the uh, what the Bible. In, in oh. the you can't say that if you're a Muslim. Why would you oh, say that? Oh, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. He said it. He said it. Let's rewind it. Let's make sure. Let's make sure because he came to the realization. Boss, what can I do for you, boss? You're Muslim? Even mm -hmm. boss. Okay. But you're respectful. You're not going to start manifesting, swearing, flashing videos, right? No. Okay, speak a little more so I can make sure. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm speaking. But you're laughing because you want to do something. <laughs> no. See? I got you. Ah, Abbas, you, you think you're good, you. What's your background? What kind of Muslim? Sunni. Sunni. Are you a Salafi or you're Ashari Maturidi? I'm an ex Salafi. You're an ex Salafi? Why'd you leave Salafi Islam? Doesn't make sense. Muslim said, Hold on, man. This is wild. Bruh. So, what you're telling me is not only is there Sunni, Shia, Ahmadis, and all these other type of Muslims, but in those sects, there's more sects. So, there's three other sects of Sunni Muslim. That's wild. So, there's three other sects of Sunni Muslims. That's wild. How many more sects of Shias are there? Ahmadis. Who knows? Seems like a lot of denominations, though. So, the same people that like to bring up these horrible arguments and horrible points really just backfire on them but then again we know that we know that all of islam what they do is they come up with these horrible arguments these claims that they can't even live by themselves they love to claim these things so they cry about denominations they got denominations they cry about perfect preservation they don't have perfect preservation i don't understand they talk about contradictions we don't have contradictions they do have contradictions so man but that's what happens when your religion is based off of nothing but lies and, you know, pick me and cherry pick verses from the scripture before it. And also just cherry picked understanding from other religions from the past, you know, the pagan influences and stuff like that. Let's get back to the video. Say the Quran rejects the Trinity as understood by Christians. And I'm saying, no, it doesn't. Nowhere in the Quran does it explain what the Trinity is and condemn it. And actually there's proof from the Quran that when it explains who Jesus is or the Spirit is, it's actually confirming the Trinity, even though it's supposed to be rejecting it. That's my challenge, Abbas. Are you up for the challenge, mister? Uh, what about chapter 112? What about it? What does that got to do with the Trinity? Wow. It, says, it says Allah doesn't beget. And what does that mean, it doesn't beget? I had articles showing you that lam yeled wa lam yuled in the context of the Quran means he does not sire children. Biologically, that's how the word wadat is used throughout the Quran. Exclusively? The burn of proof is on you to show it's not exclusive. When it's talking about begetting throughout the Quran, how does it define the term? Let me show you one second. So every time. I, I, it, I, I know uh, the Quran says, how can Allah have a child if he doesn't yeah. have a wife? I know. Okay, that's even good one. How did Mary have a child when she didn't have a husband? Yo, this is like the argument that Brother God Logic uses all the time. And I love it because it's showing the fact that Allah really ain't all that. He really ain't all that powerful. So Mary. Like he's saying, can have a son without a husband, you know, immaculate conception, but yet Allah can't create a son for himself. What's really weird is that when it comes to the New Testament, Old Testament, they share the same themes of God being a father. Old Testament, New Testament fit together, supposed to be the revelation. So then the Quran comes and says, but nah, forget all that. No, he's he can't have he's not a father of any type, whether it be metaphorically or literally, which is. Very weird, because again, it goes against the other scriptures. But getting back to the point of the fact that Allah can only have a kid if he has a girlfriend is wild. So your God can only get this with a mate. Mm, seems like he's not as powerful as the Muslims like to think he is. And he's telling he is literally laying the understanding, the framework that he's not God all throughout the Quran, but yet. These Muslim folks be like, man, but nah, he ain't really saying that he can't. He just saying that he wanted, but it says that he can't. But nah, in the Arabic, that really means, but nah, it really means that he can't. Either way, let's get back to the video, though. Let's keep learning. Shout out to Sam Shamoon. Shout out to the brother Archive for clipping this video. Uh, because Allah gave her his spirit. So Allah is able to cause a woman to have a child. Allah can't have a child unless... Man. Wait, wait, but no, no, okay, wait, wait, no, but 
uh, Allah says, how can I have a child if I don't have a wife? But that's what Mary, Mary said. How can yeah, I? But Mary, have Mary doesn't. But Mary said, "How can I have a child if I hasn't if I haven't been touched?" That's yes. The, the in other words, she's using your reasoning of your God. I, what in the world? What did your God say. Um. Okay. Sure. 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 So my question to you: Why can't Allah? That's the argument. Chapter six, verse one hundred one. That's what you're quoting. Son, according to your Quran, son can also mean spiritual, metaphorical. For example, if you go to chapter two, one seventy-seven of the Quran, when you're in chapter two, one seventy-seven, nine sixty, when you give zakat. It says you give to those who are Ibn al Sabil, Ibn Sabil. Wa Ibni Ibn al Sabil, son of al Sabil. You give zakat to the son of Sabil. What does that mean? Son of the road. Oh. It refers to the traveler. Here it is. So did the road literally father him? No. But it says Ibn Sabil, son of the road. How can the road have a son seeing the road doesn't have a concept? I don't, I don't disagree. You can use son uh, symbolically. Okay. Okay, so then the argument that, well, how can Allah have a son? Why can't he? Why can't you be his son spiritually? Because because we are his slaves. We're not his son. So now you made a very argument against yourself. Because according to the prophets before your prophet, Moses and all them, God was and is their father spiritually. So how come the prophets thought something contrary to your prophet? How can um How can they be uh, his son if, like, if, they, if God allowed Jews to kill them? What do you mean? What? what? You mean so if someone is killed, that yep. means he's not the son of God, then that means they're false prophets too, according to your logic, right? If I'm a father of someone and I can save how my many son, fathers have lost sons? How many fathers have lost sons? A lot of sons. A lot of okay. Sons. So my point is your logic doesn't follow. Why would it be that if God is a son, he won't die? Who told you that? So yeah, this is according to the Bible. I don't follow the Bible. No, well, actually, your prophet said he confirmed what the Jews and Christians had. Muhammad what, confirmed. Are you, are you referring to uh, 241? I'm referring to not only chapter 2, verses 40 to 44, and chapter 2, verse 89, and chapter 2, verse 91. I know. There's a lot of verses that says that. I know. And there's not single one. Don't misquote chapter 275, 79. That's going to be your nightmare. So my point is, you just proved my case. You have to say the Bible is corrupt to show that the Quran is not a lie. But then can you explain to me why does the Old Testament of the Jews agree with the New Testament of the Christians in saying that God is a father to his people? They don't. They both don't have to. They, it could have been like, oh, Jews corrupted it. And then Christians just well, followed Jesus in their corruption. That Torah scriptures because Jesus, according to Quran, confirmed the Torah between his hands. And the only Torah he had are... The books that say that Israel's God's son. Yeah, I don't know. I know, I know. Let them know the Islamic dilemma. There's just so many layers. And this is why it's an Islamic dilemma. The Muslims shoot themselves in the foot. The Quran shoots them in the foot. And they take that foot that's been shot. Insert it in their mouth. That is what the Islamic dilemma is. The Quran only confirms what it is that was previously written. What it is that Jesus had in his hands and the same thing that Jesus had in his hand, the same thing that Muhammad had at his time of the Torah is what it is that we have now. The manuscripts show, the history show that. The history does not show the Islamic claim from the scholars and the Dawaganis. That's what it doesn't show. What the history shows is the same thing that Muhammad had when it comes to Injil is the same thing that was going around at the time. That's the only Injil that we have in history. The only one. And that's the gospel. They say, oh, well, there's not four Gospels. It's one in jail. Well, guess what? The Gospels that are four are saying the same story. And that's the story of Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. The fact that God came down to die for our sins, get put on the cross so that we can have everlasting life because of his perfect sacrifice. That's in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Gospel. So everything that the Quran says goes against what actually the Quran says, which is wild. And it goes against what these Dawaganis say. But that's why they shoot themselves in the foot. That's why in Islam, it's just a sinking sand of a belief. When you base your understanding on nothing but lies and misunderstanding and falsehoods, this is what you get. But let's get back into the video, though, and keep this learning going. Why money ain't free? But like... It means to confirm as true. It's used in chapter 3, verse 39. I know, I know. So my point is, whatever scriptures Jesus had at the time that he ministered, he confirmed their scriptures as those words that Allah told them to confirm. He abrogated some of those commands, but those scriptures teach that God is a father to Israel. Back so why is Allah having him confirm these corrupt scriptures? This is what Jesus would have had. We know that because of the Dead Sea Scrolls found in 1947. 
Then you shall say to Pharaoh, thus says Yahweh, Israel's my son, my firstborn. Israel's my son, my firstborn. Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. You are the sons of Yahweh, your God. Jesus confirmed that, meaning that your prophet is an antichrist. But give me the chronic verse that you think helps your case, which you won't. When when Jesus confirms the Torah, God gave um, some laws as a punishment against the Jews. I know, I know. Yeah, but I'm then Jesus made, made my case. If he gave those laws, that means those laws are from God. They're not corrupted. Are you listening? Who gave those laws? Allah did. So you just proved those laws were from God and they were punishment. That means they're still God's laws. Yeah, the, the specifically those laws, yeah, sure. Oh, so they're still the words of God. Yes, yeah, specifically the laws, yeah. Okay, so then you're not making a case for you. You're making a case for me. So let's come back to this. No, I want to go to six one, I, I want to go to chapter 61, verse 6. That's the verse I wanted to go to. That's the one that's going to bear you because it says, confirming the Torah between my hands and announcing glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, Ahmed. What do you not get that I know these verses better than you? The, the, yeah, but I'm saying, Musaddiqan. Uh, no, it does. Ibn Kathir says that he confirmed it as true. And when Isa, son of Maryam, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of Allah unto you, confirming Torah before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me. Here, listen. Isa said, the Torah conveyed the glad tidings of my coming, and my con coming confirms the truth of the Torah. Yikes. It's true, not parts of it. I convey the glad tidings of the prophet who come after me. So can we stop the tap dance? Ibn Kathir says that Jesus' coming confirms the truth of the Torah. Mm. It is true. So if you reject this, that means you reject Muhammad. Why are you a Muslim? Uh. Why are you a Muslim? Since you like Musaddiq and Lima Baina Yadei or Yadeya, let me now show you what he says elsewhere. So I'm going to see if you're going to be able to answer. If not, we're wasting time. You need to move on. One second. Chapter three. Yeah, where are these websites? Go at, Ibn right? Kathir, so you don't say it's a Yahudi or a Nasara. Okay. Hey, uh, Ibn Kathir, what do you got to say about this here? If you believe, I have come confirming that which was before me the Torah, affirming the Torah and upholding it. Affirming and upholding it. Mm. Okay, but now here he says. And to make lawful to you part of what was forbidden to you. This part of the ayah indicates that Isa abrogated, doesn't say it's corrupted, abrogated some of the laws of the Torah and informed the Jews of the truth regarding some issues that they used to dispute about. Okay, so here he affirms and upholds it as true, but he says, I do free you from some of its restrictions. That's Nasikh Waman Sul. So again, I'm going to ask you the question the Torah that Jesus had says that God is a father to Israel and mm. that the kings of Israel, David, Solomon, are his sons. Mm. And we find that in the New Testament. So why would the Jews corrupt the Old Testament to agree with the New Testament that God is a father to his people, not physically, not spiritually? And why is the Quran saying Jesus confirmed that Torah in his day and the only Torah that he had are these books that say God is a father to his people? Can we answer this question? Mm. Can he? Nah, that brother's silent. Because um, <laughs> between their hands, um, they do, they don't have the same book as you. Okay, can I say Bruh. it again? Maybe then I'm gonna see this. What happens when you look the black stone? I just read Ibn Kathir saying <laughs> he confirmed the Torah, the truth of it in his time. The Dead Sea Scrolls found in 1947, copies of the Old Testament in Hebrew, written 120 years before Christ shows that he was reading the Exodus that I was reading and Deuteronomy. Ax. And your Quran confirms that. So I'm going to give you another chance. Why does the Quran say Jesus confirmed the Torah between his hands? And that Torah is what we have today. A Torah that says God is a father to his people. Why is Jesus confirming that? And why would the Jews change the Old Testament to agree with the New Testament that God is a father to his people? Ooh. Final chance of us. He ain't got it. He tried this about three times now. He ain't because, got it. Not one time. Because the Quran is ignorant of the uh, what the Bible in, in the oh. You can't say that if you're a Muslim. Why would you oh, say that? Oh, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. He said it. He said it. Let's rewind it. Let's make sure. Let's make sure because he came to the realization. The truth has came into him. He knows what's really going on here. When you take what is actually being said in the Quran, and when you pair it with the truth of history, when you pair it with the truth of what's going on, that's unmistakable. You have to come with this response. Let's hear it again. Let's hear it again, y'all. Because because the Quran is ignorant of the uh, what the Bible and Angel contain. You can't say. No, hold on now. He said it. He said that is ignorant because the Quran is ignorant of what 
the Injil and Bible have or the Torah. And that's facts. That's the Islamic dilemma. It doesn't make sense, y'all. One more time. Let's get into it. There's that pause. Because, because the Quran is ignorant of the uh, what the Bible and Injil contain. You can't say that if you're a Muslim. What? Why would you say the Quran is ignorant? How are you saying that if you're a Muslim? You just left Islam, so you're not even really a Muslim, are you? What? You're just pretending to be because you need attention, right? Mm. No. How could you say the Quran is ignorant of what's it? That means you don't believe it's from God. You know you just blasphemed, right? What? No, the Quran doesn't have to contain all of God's speech. No, I didn't say that. You said the Quran is ignorant of what's in the Torah. How would you say that if you're a Muslim? Because, because the Quran is not purely God's word. What? Man, you're not a Muslim, dude. Hey, yo, that is wild. That is wild. He ain't no Muslim. Y'all better kill this brother in the comments, you Muslims, because he didn't. He apostated. That's what that is right there. there. Ain't nothing else to say, really. He said it. He said that the Quran doesn't contain Allah's words, well, at least all of Allah's words, and that is ignorant to what came before, and it doesn't have to. He's making his own sect, his own sect of Muslim belief. Mm, 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 mm. That's wild, y'all. That's crazy. That's real crazy. That being said, you see the ticker. It's been going down below the whole time. Go ahead on like, share, subscribe to Vibe Out with your boy. You can also hit that noti bell so that you can be notified anytime that I drop with these reactions or go live or anything fun like that. God bless y'all. Don't be like this, brother. Mm. Well, actually be like this, brother, if you're a Muslim, because at least he's starting to be honest. And the more that he digs and the more that he's honest with himself and what the Quran says, the more he'll leave and then come to know the truth. An honest Muslim is the next Muslim. He's on his way. God bless y'all. I'm out.